This is Ryan's video game reviews, our very first video review. Woohoo! Guess what game I'm reviewing? For those of you who have actually had their head under a completely soundproof rock, Black Ops 2 and the Call of Duty franchise in general is the Michael Bay of video games. You got explosions, you got high tech gear and low tech gear, mostly of the uh, bullet firing variety. And like any good Michael Bay movie and or Call of Duty game, this game does not sink out on the action which is more than what can be said for the story. Asshole. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is obviously a sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops. It's a continuation of the story that took place in Vietnam where a main soldier named Mason was being brainwashed by communists. That's all you really need to know from the previous game. This continues that game through the uh, ramblings of his partner Frank Woods who's in a retirement home. And the game itself, while uh, allowing you to play as Lawrence of Arabia in one scene and uh, going into the far future the next, basically the real theme is the uh, automated uh, weapons market in uh, the year 2025. Weird part is it actually uses real technology, things like quantum entanglement and uh, quantum computing. This single device has more processing power than your entire military infrastructure. Anyway, believe it or not, we are only going to be reviewing the campaign mode, which is one of the weaker parts of most Call of Duty games. The key word being most. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 finally does something right with the campaign mode. It takes one of its most valuable features. The ability to customize your weapons and your equipment and put them straight into campaign mode, allowing you to come prepared any which way you want, whenever you are going to play a single player against a horde of communist armies. That's cool. Another interesting thing that it introduces to the game is what's called a strike team mode. This is where Call of Duty Black Ops 2 really starts to shine. No longer are you going to be simply the typical John Wayne type lone soldier against the world. You are now going to be something of a commander who commands an entire army. Well, more like a strike team of uh, expert commandos who not only include soldiers with various weapons, but also include automated turrets, little robots on track like R2D2, but with guns, and big walking ATAT -AT type claws. They're not as big as AT-ATs, but they walk the same way, and they're still big enough to come up with an M1 tank and uh, do some considerable damage. That being said, this game makes no apology for being what it is, a technical toy, a technological marvel. Something that looks pretty, basically. You okay? Yeah, we're okay. In conclusion, this game is not for the person who only wants stellar story and high meaning. If you want that, I recommend Spec Ops The Line, in which case you should do my quiz and figure out if it really is what it be. If you're into story, it should be. Any other time, if you just want to blast somebody and see the pretty special effects as it blows up, and you don't mind operating robots and using high-tech toys that belong in Independence Day, then Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is your game. Campaign mode is for people who don't mind controlling multiple figures at once and don't mind being a one-man army. Cool part is, is that you can even select through the story. It is the weak part only because it's incoherent, but your choices do affect the game. I'm going to wrap up this video by giving what's called a seven word synopsis. That's basically for those of you who don't follow my blog, when I use two words to describe why it's good two words to describe why it's bad, and three words to describe what to do about it. 
The seven word synopsis for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is Technological Marvel Incoherent Story Bye for Christmas. See you next time. On Friday we're going to be doing a Black Friday review where I basically uh, scour the internet for Black Friday deals and share them on my post. After that we'll be reviewing multiplayer of this game. See ya.